Two Broke Rednecks present Coronet, sign this film's gonna blow. Slip to Marufi is not an option. RCA stands for really crappy audio. Hey, they're just like us. Hey, Andy Griffith is coming on. This is a story about what to do on a date. It begins one early summer afternoon. It begins with Jeff and Kay and Nick. So it's about a polygamous relationship? Of course, you may not have a problem about what to do on a date, but Nick, well, he has a real dating problem. For some reason, all his days end with rape charges. What would they do? Where would they go? Will she put out? Just a minute, Jeff. I'll get my tennis racket. Okay, what sort of kinky right. stuff are they planning to do with a tennis racket? It's the K-Tail Notebook. Hey, what about asking Kay to come to the community center with us on Friday to fix up that scavenger sale? We could make it a double day. I heard her motto is the more the merrier. You heard what I said. That's no place to take a girl on a date, helping to fix up the scavenger sale. Besides, Kay's one of my hoes. On a first date? First date? Yeah. Well, Kay's a swell girl. I was gonna... I was thinking of calling her. Maybe ask her to the show Friday. A donkey show on a first date? Isn't that a little risque? Let's get going. I still have to get my things yet. Call her now? Do I have to? You know the number, don't you? Not really. Always talk to her on her sex line. What if she says no? Hello? Oh, hello, Kay. This is Nick Baxter. Oh, hello, Nick. How are are you, you still my dirty boy who needs Fine, to be man. spanked? Say, Kay, next Friday, would you like to see Wagon Train at the movies? Oh, I'm sorry, Nick. I can't. I'm banned from the theater. You've seen it? She's already seen it. Well, ask her about the scavenger set. Go ahead. Cause nothing says fun like being hey, free labor. You wouldn't want to help get the scavenger sale ready at the community center, would you? Oh, I've been hearing about that. Yes, I'd like to very much. It would be a perfect chance for me to sell my ass. Dude, All you right. should hear the dirty I'll things she wants then. to do to me. Seven. Bye. I sure didn't think she'd go to a place like that for a date. I can't believe I talked her into going to a whorehouse. Oh, ready? You know, you better think some more, fellow, about what to do on a date. Like how to get you her liquored up. A good time? What do you suppose I'll have to do? You know who else? That's one huge now, whoopee cushion. You may not have thought of this sort of thing as a place to take a date, but it looks like it could be fun. And perfect for free labor. Where did they put the donated porn? Here, take my jizz rag. things together. Pretty good idea for a first date. Plenty to do, plenty of people to talk to. But let's see if Nick and Kay are enjoying it. No amount of stuff can make this thing look any older. Well, it's Nell Carter's IUD. Now where to put this sign that says useless crap? Nick, can you help me put this sign up? Oh, sure. I just love doing things for short people. Well, you might if you'd got your lazy ass on a chair. That's about right. Thanks. 
say, Kay. Is it you true really you're a whore? Of course I am. I'm glad you thought of coming here. So am I. I mean, yes, it was a good idea. No, I don't okay. have to sleep through the roofies. How about helping with refreshments for the gang? All right. See you later. Oh, I gotta pee. Uh, yeah, get refreshments sure. ready. Got any more tax? She said she was hoping to get nailed. Yes, it was a good idea to come here. How does Jeff get ideas like that? He just pulls them out of his hey, butt. Hey, what's this? Maybe this is where Jeff gets ideas. A list of coming activities. Might want to skip the winter roast if you want to keep your junk. A chance to do things this has to be the worst bike gang I've ever seen. It does look like a good time if your partner likes it. Would Kay enjoy a bike trip? Or a weenie roast? I said avoid that for the safety of your junk. Another group date. A chance to learn the give and take of working and playing together. Not much arranging needed, not much expense. And that can be important. If you're a cheapskate. If Kay would like it. Wonder if she'd like to go to a baseball game. I know I'd a kill you if you took me to one. One you can carry through comfortably. And there are all sorts of other sports events. Inexpensive things. Go long. Swimming meets, for example. They came to buy pot from Michael Phelps. You can find many good ideas for dates. Are we listening to Cotton Eye Joe? Dates that give you a good chance to get acquainted. And dates that you don't have to worry too much about in advance. Or spend money on, you it cheap bastard. Coming here tonight, double dating with Jeff and Phyllis. When all four are good friends and enjoy the same things, double dates can be lots of fun. Especially the sex or afterwards. Or you can go on dates with you alone, if you plan for what she enjoys. Which is peeing on people. What are you doing over there? I'm posting a recipe on how to cook a baby. Fine thing. As soon as Kay isn't around to supervise, you go off on a vacation. You know, Maestro, I don't think your date ideas are so original. What? I read your list. Well, you Shitting on each that? other's messed up, dude. <laughs> what I'd like to know is, how can you figure out what a girl would like to do? Here's a novel idea. Ask her. Well, you might ask her. I said it first. Yeah, Nick's looking for you. Is he good company? He always seems so quiet. We get along all right. Now, if He's I could just get him to wear the gimp we suit. To say yet. He's kind of cute. You gonna date him again? I don't know. Depends on if he slips me the D tonight. George, get out of there. I'm hungry. If you want to do something, take the Cokes out there. Okay, come on, hurry up. Oh, yeah? I think so. Come and get it, everybody. Come on, we eat. Let's go. I poured rat poison over some of these. Hi, stranger. I decided to come out of hiding. Hey, this looks good. You make the sandwiches? These were the days where you could order a woman to get into the kitchen and make me a sandwich without getting two black eyes. A table, duh. Your table, madame. Thank you, sir. This is fun, isn't it? Yeah. Do you give head on a first date? Sure. I thought all girls wanted fellas to take them to fancy places, spend lots of money. Not this girl. I put out cheap. You know? I sort of like things like this, too. You won't laugh. I like to go on bicycle trips, too. I like you? going on anything that's free. Yeah, and weenie roasts and square dances. And baseball games and taffy pulls. I think they're swell. Do hey, these two get like to be any more of a pair of losers? Say, Kay, next Friday there's going to be a weenie roast, or there'll be a bowling party if you'd rather do that. Or, or we could go to the band concert. Oh, I'd enjoy going to the Weenie Roast very much. 
I enjoy ripping a man's junk off and no, roasting it. Go to the weenie roast. If Jeff goes with Phyllis, we could double date with them. Yep, losers. Come on, we're gonna break off the ice cream. Okay, be right there. Is it all right then? About Friday? And me bringing another girl along to join us? Yes, there are lots of things to do on dates. But if date rape isn't one of them. If you plan them with the other person in mind, and if you really try to make sure each date's a good time. Drugs could help. If you do these things, you'll know what to do on your date. Should have been called dating tips for losers. Well, that's over with. Time to bleach my brain. Dear Broke Rednecks, we don't make bad movies, we make bad movies better.